spread a crash in Drusif, bringing up the negative aspects of how social media and the Internet have affected people's information, how it affects society in general, how we become informed or lack of informed, how people uh, um, talk to each other, communicate emotionally. And uh, we're going to talk about that now. We already covered the positives. So, Drusif, you can go. Oh, the negatives? Oh. Yes, please. Well, you touched on some of the negatives earlier. Um, you talked about the you talked about how social media and Facebook, for instance, uh, lead to narcissism. You know, they give the kids these totally self-inflated views or totally inflated views of self-worth and importance. I have 300 friends on importance Facebook. Importance and and whatnot, and that that's I think that's a negative for sure. I mean, uh, it's uh, that's just that's just one. I think that. Um, yeah, I think that, and uh, let me see here. Well, why don't you give me some of your negatives real quick? I, I lost my turn. What, what am I, one of my biggest negatives, and this is unfortunately just part of corporate culture, is that unfortunately now those with the most money still have the biggest say. Now, granted, you could, almost, you could argue, I mean, I'm, a, I'm a capitalist supporter, anarcho-capitalist, so to speak, that uh, that's actually a positive thing. If you have the money and have the, the ability to get your message out, I mean, that's simply your right to do so. Unfortunately, people were drawn into that message uh, too easily. So you have some of the largest news outlets, which I don't listen to, have the biggest voice on the internet as well. You see their links everywhere, but you see these. You have to go and really search and find these these alternative media sources. Well, I, I, you, you introduced me to the Reason. Uh, a couple other websites you've introduced me to, I didn't find this on my own. I had to find somebody else to tell me about them. I never searched for it and actually found them. And to me, that was something that was of, of great use. So I saw a positive and negative. You provided information to me, but at the same point, I realized, wow, why can't I find these nice search for news sources? And to me, that's one of the biggest negatives. Yeah, and, and yeah, absolutely. Um, and I was going to talk about another societal negative of, of sure. the Internet and social media and all this stuff, technology mm -hmm. and information consumption, is I think that – for I mean, I think information saturation is, a, is an issue for some people. Mm -hmm. I think some people literally just it, it's just too much for them. I mean, mm -hmm. if you look at if you look at information consumption today, as opposed to 50 years ago, you know, you had three news channels. You had Walter Cronkite, okay, who you trusted, all right, for news. Okay, you had your your family, your teachers, your colleagues, and if you went to church, your your fellow parishioners, whatever. Right. And, you know, that that's it. That was it. Mm -hmm. That was your sphere of information, so to speak. You want to learn something? You got to go look it up in the encyclopedia. Right. Yes. And so but now with limitless information, literally limitless information and self-generating at an exponential rate, I mean, literally incalculable amounts of information out there. Mm -hmm. uh, information saturation sets in. And some people. You know, they just it, – it's too much for them. So yes. they feel overwhelmed. You know, it, it goes back to what you're talking about, the people that are like, I know it's messed up, and so I'm just going to play Castleville. You know, yes. whatever. You drink my Code Red and play WoW. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, so that, that is a negative. I, I think I think mm -hmm. it is. I think, I think some people, it's just too much for them. They can't take it because often I've, I've spoken to friends and family uh, about, you know, politics and state of the state of affair in America right now and they agree they're like yeah you're right I just I, I can't take it for more than five minutes I and for those who are wondering what he's talking about he email bombs his aunt with horrible information on a daily basis which I think is absolutely horrible by the way hey, it's because I love her I know yeah. you love her you have to inform her but I'm sure she absolutely hates you yeah she calls Oh look, all Drew, all that lovely little guy. Let's see what he. Oh my gosh. Yeah, she calls it like stroke out emails. Don't send me any more emails that stroke <laughs> out. <laughs> so, but anyways, yeah. So that's basically it. We just wanted to talk about you know the internet, and exponential growth in IT, how it's led to an instant gratification culture where we want something at a at a moment's notice. We we can't wait for anything. We can't be bothered for anything. We're ADD. We're totally removed from reality. We. Freaking eat at restaurants on our iPhones instead of interacting with people, yep. um, and the positives and negatives. Yep. And we'd love to hear any comments, and uh, we'll read them and respond to them when necessary. Thanks a lot for listening.